I hope all is well today for you in the land of crypto. So in my last video, I tried to get a video out. Last two videos, I tried to get videos out and try to show a trade before it happened. On the weekend, probably not a good idea. Although there's a lot to learn from it and they may not have been incorrect. Let's dive down. My main objective here is, I guess it, it's rooted in, I wish this would have happened when I was younger, right? The, the little guy gets access to the money markets, sitting in his living room in his pajamas, right? <laughs> so uh, I don't care if you lose 20 bucks out there. I could, I could care less. My main goal is to just get you interested in this because this is probably the big problem in our world. The entire planet, the entire sphere we live on, in our in the United States, there's there's basically a first world and a second world and a third world and probably a fourth or fifth world, if you care to look. And it's mainly because of this, just this right what you're looking at in front of you. Those that have that access to it and those that don't, and uh, just up and down the ladder each way. So with that being said, let's take a look. It appears now I got this. Uh, if you watch my videos, I talk a lot about less Friday of the month marked by these blue vertical lines, blah, blah, yada, yada. Bitcoin CME futures expirations last Friday of the month. Some sort of gravitational pull. There's no exact rhyme or reason. This may have been the pump up to it. I'd seen two days before. Before This is three days before. That would be a little different. This could be the dump away from this line. This this could come down here like this. Or this is the dump down to it. And then we're looking at the pump away from it. So being exactly on that line kind of threw me for a loop. I'm not sure. I'm going to stay with my gut. It could be wrong. I think when markets open in a few hours, probably after some of you watch this video, I think Bitcoin is still in dump mode. I think it's still dumping. Now, even if it does pump from here and comes up here, even if it comes up and tests 25,000 area again, I'm not going to move off of my analysis of this is a sucker's rally, and we are here. I'm not going to make videos one day with thumbnails and titles telling you how bullish and amazing it is. And the next day telling you there's a big dump and it's bearish, right? I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm simply, <laughs> I'm not going to do that for views. I have Saturday and Sunday marked on here. The weekends, maybe just avoid. I should just, I should have just known better. My Saturday coming out of this triangle was correct. And if you had, a, if you took profit down there, you did real good. It pumped back up through it, and then Sunday here, let's get this out of here. This, I was playing this parallel channel in my last video, and it, and it did dump out through the bottom, but it was a fakey fake. Saturday, Sunday, you can't trust any move. So this whole thing here, this could be just a big giant fugazi, right? This could just be a fake. Don't trust this. Anything you see in the week, weekend, don't trust Monday's going to open up on the traditional markets. If the traditional markets turn red, then watch for the Bitcoin dump. So, okay, let's go back here. This is where we're at. We're right here. We had dropped below resistance. We had dropped below support and turned resistance. It since came up and flipped it again. It turned resistance into support, which you can see here on the five-minute chart. This is the daily chart. This is the five-minute chart. The upper half of the screen, this blue, is this this ascending parallel channel here where we just dumped out of and just regained. That's on the weekend. Remember, it's the weekend. It's come down one, two, three, four times to test it. The more times it comes down, just imagine it a, a, a paper mache patio deck, a party party deck. And people are bouncing up and on it. And eventually, when they spill enough liquid on it, it's going to get weak and weak and weak. My cat said hello. 
later, dude. Later. And then uh, this is looking like it's eventually going to give away. So I'm not moving off my – even if this comes up and pumps another 1000 or $2,000, I'm not moving off. I'm simply not going to – I'm not going to psychologically torment you like other super popular channels will. I'm not moving this off this. I'm not moving off this. This is where we're at. It's a sucker's rally. We're in the bear market. It's a bear market rally. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. Even if I'm wrong, I'm not going to – I'm not going to capitulate every 24 hours and then complain about other people capitulating in my next video, right? Well, I've capitulated 10 times this week. So, uh, it's just, you just, you just gotta, <laughs> it's actually kind of awful. It's awful. I'm, I don't know. There's, it's a fine line between integrity and, and views. You know, I got to make snappy titles and thumbnails to get views, you know? Or else why would I be making this video? So I gotta gain traction. So with that being said, the name of this channel is Bitcoin Street. If you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing and helping me gain some traction on the YouTube algorithm and get my stuff out there, it's time for me to do that. Without a doubt, it is pumped up on the weekend. Come up here. This appeared to me. In my last video, I was talking about what I would do if I had dry powder is I would put a short in here and play the drop down from here because it should be harsh resistance. Now, this appeared to me, and I said put a stop loss. I said put a stop loss up here in this area, right? And so on the, I should, on the weekends, on the weekends, folks, there's, there's basically stop loss hunters out there. Kind of what it seems to me, whether it's true or not, it's a good way to look at it. The traditional players... Are probably out sailing their boats and doing stuff on Saturday and Sunday because they work Monday through Friday. So it does seem to stabilize and it gets more predictable Monday through Friday. That's probably true. So you know, I was saying this, and this looks like this looked like a stop loss hunting pump to me. They hunted hunted the stop. This was probably a, a short squeeze right here. People like me. Playing this, saying this, this was probably a big short squeeze, and now it's coming back down. So when I I got stopped out, I lost uh, I think twenty six dollars, and I'm gonna show you my trade here in a second. What I did, I got stop lost out about here, and I re-entered a little bit larger position, basically here at the top, because it's just that's why I probably shouldn't make videos, because it's just it's it's basically just experience. So my my what I would tell you is just watch my videos and I'll just kind of try to give you my last two or three years of experience and 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 maybe kind of fast track you a little bit. And there's other good channels out there too. I would recommend Jason Casper and that's a, that's the name of his channel, Jason Casper. And then there's a fellow named uh, Crypto Face, the inventor of the Market Cipher. I'd like to go into that. I was going to get into that back when Elon Musk dumped the market. I was about to invest in that kind of stuff, and <laughs> I got I got it handed to me. I'm gonna be honest with you, but you know I started small, and and uh, I just built my built my bankroll. So that's how I do it. If you got a lot of money and you don't know what you're doing, please do not do not enter this market because they will take your money. Right? Just learn. If you want to enter this market, just dollar cost average. Buy one, five, ten, hundred, whatever kind of money you got. Buy just dollar cost average. Buy five dollars a day from from here on out. You know, it's probably going to dump down to fifteen thousand, but you know, it's okay. Dollar cost average, and there's just there's a reason people dollar cost average, and Bitcoin is a beautiful thing to just dollar cost average into. Twelve months from now, you'll be very happy. Unless there's some kind of like asteroid hits us, right? And knocks out our electronics, right? So that kind of stuff. Barring that kind of stuff, you will be a happy camper. Okay, so I saw a comment. Someone came up the comment saying I was totally wrong. And and they came in six hours. They said six hours later, you're totally wrong. And I appreciate that. That's what it looked like, right? But six hours after that comment, 12 hours later, well, wait a second. Right? This this is back in here, right? It's back in this channel. So, so with that being said, 
<laughs> was I right or was I wrong? It appears to me that this is coming down still. It appears to me that Bitcoin, this is the five minute chart. This is what it looks like on the daily chart right there in the circle. It appears to me that Bitcoin is struggling, struggling. It's, it's dropped down out of the channel one, two, three, four times. It's dropped down below the white. This white horizontal line is the bottom of this. See this white line here? It's the bottom of this whole range here. Once again, it is losing that ground, right? So this is a downtrend here. You will notice. To be honest, I have a hard time making videos. I'm not experienced enough with, with the video making process while trying to tell you how to play something that's coming in the future. But I saw this pump here and just experience just the soul surfer gut instinct from what I've been watching for a long time now is that I got stopped out, but it was a stop loss hunting fake artificial pump. Basically a little short squeeze, most likely. So I re-entered here at the top after I got stopped out. I wasn't watching. If I was watching, I would have moved my stop loss up just a touch higher. And I would never never got stop lost out to begin with. But that's just, you can just go down a rabbit hole. There's just billions of different ways you can play this. But I just want to point this out to you. Ever since that initial pump, see this trend line going down? It's, it's lower high, lower high. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden it's way down here, right? See this? It's a lower high. Let's go here. Let's go here. Lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. So far, it's lower high. Maybe it comes up a little higher. But uh, you, you can see what I'm saying, right? There's definitely, ever since that initial, what I'm calling a fake pump, most likely a bit of a short. There could have been a, a billionaire out there that got short squeezed. You know, some massive position may have got short squeezed. That That's what that could be. A couple huge shorts got squeezed, and uh, who knows for sure. But if in a few hours after this video is published, when the stock markets, the traditional markets open, if they open and they go red throughout throughout Monday, then uh, Bitcoin's probably going to go with them. And it's struggling now. See, see that? See that? So this channel I was playing in my last video here – where it gave a fakey fake, probably a short squeeze. That's what a lot of what that was. It's still in play. See this? This is still this channel's still here. There's there's no there's no this isn't a football game or a basketball game, right? This this is this isn't a baseball game. There are no nine innings. This could go to five thousand innings, right? It's back down in that same channel, and it could very well break out. Just like I said back here, I just took a while. So uh, there's lots of ways to look at. It. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to avoid the same, like, like there's su the super popular channels on YouTube. What they'll do is see this triangle pattern here. They will. Uh, what they'll do is th they'll tell you to. Put in a put in a, a short order here with a stop loss like up here somewhere, right? And at the same time, I'll tell you to put in a long order here with with like a stop loss down here, right? Somewhere. And I'll tell you it's gonna go up or it's gonna go down. And the next day they come on and they say it's exactly as I predicted. See? So that's a good way to do it, right? This, the, <laughs> that's a great way to do it, and that's I'm sure they're successful. Most likely, they're probably successful doing that. But that's just, that's just, you know, that's. I kind of wanted a long, a long time ago. I asked my viewers. I said, "Do you want me to tell you I can go up or down, or do you want me to tell you what my opinion is?" And overwhelmingly, people said, "We want to know what your opinion is." So. I've been giving my opinion. Well, we've got a pump here live on camera. 
Let's see. Let's see right here on camera. Let's see. Let's see if it goes up. Let's see if it goes up and breaks. Let's see if it sets a new high right here. I'm going to I'm going to just go out on a limb and say this fails. 23,441. I'm going to say this is going to fail and go back down. Let's just sit here and watch it for a while. You see what I'm saying? The, if this sets a lower high, see the, see these two highs here. I got the vertical. I got the horizontal dash line on it. Twenty three thousand four four one. Look look see see that right there. I just I just said it. Right. It's just experience. And now this might pump back up and prove me wrong, but you can just see that happened like right when I talked about it because. I just have been watching this. It's just experience. And that's my main point is I just want people out there to get experience. Because this is basically the difference between the first world and the third world or the fourth or fifth world in their own country, let alone the planet. And the people that had access to this and the people that didn't. That's that's a lot of what the problem is. People want to get into skin color and and, and all this and, and this and that and this, but it's mainly it's mainly socioeconomics. It's make mainly an economic problem, right? So there it is, right? It, you can see you can see how it just failed. Like right when I was just, I saw it and I started talking about it, and there it is. So if I publish this video two hours from now, maybe this is going to prove me wrong. Maybe this will pump up here, right? But it's not because I'm, you know. It was. It wasn't because I was wrong. It's. It's. You know. It's just so, solid fundamental analysis, right? This. It could fail, and this could pump. This could pump straight up to twenty five thousand. Warren Buffett could come in and put five billion dollars in, and we could be in sixty thousand dollars in the next two weeks, right? Or a satellite. A satellite. Asteroid could hit us, and we could be at, at ten bucks. That's that's Bitcoin, right? So, <laughs> uh oh, wait a second, wait a second. Let's pump. Wait, a big wick on bottom. Hold on a second. Don't don't leave yet. Twenty three thousand four four one. Let's see. I'm gonna sit here and let this run. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. I gotta take my cat to the masseuse.
All right. Well, my cat is more relaxed. This is the next day now. I ended up longing the bottom of this channel here. Turned out to be another glorious fakey fake pump up. I was going to short here, but I just decided to long based on my gut, what I've seen over and over and over and over. Traditional markets opened and a big pop up. I sold up here for, I increased my account balance by 10. Like I said, my other, my main money is on the, the big macro play that we're still in the bear market and we will be dropping considerably lower from where we're at now. Whether it takes an hour or another month, it has since dropped all the way back down out of the blue channel below the white horizontal range line. Once again, folks, once again, this is looking pretty weak, pretty weak. Even if it pumps back up here again, it's still looking pretty weak. Even though there's probably, this is probably another short squeeze. Like these, these big green ups could be, you know, massive longs coming in or, or it could be short squeezes, probably obviously a combination of both, but then probably long squeezes down and big shorts coming in. It's just a matter of who's going to win over time and you know which camp I'm in. I do believe it's a bear market, so why would I be why would I be bullish? So I have a trade in now. Let's let's go look. It's it's formed this triangle. The last few bearish looking patterns I've played a short and uh tried to make videos and I turned out to be wrong. But where it's at, right, where it's at, right below this harsh resistance area, I, I like it. I like it, right? So there it is breaking out the, the triangle to the top again. <laughs> Let's go have a look at my trade. You can see I'm $2 underwater, $3 underwater. This could be a breakout to the top. So I may, let's go back to the big screen. I may adjust what you're looking at here. This is why, this is why I'm probably never going to be able to really make a good video about this. So my recommendation is for you to learn, do your own analysis, study it, or not necessarily study it, but let the pieces sink in. And if you don't understand something, don't worry about it. Just it'll, That piece will probably come and fit in later to your mind. And so I have my stop loss here, this blue line at 23,511. I have my take profit line down here, this green line at 22,901. And uh, this white circle here should be, should be harsh resistance. Once again, I can't say that enough. Now maybe it comes back up in there again and I get stopped out. Or maybe after I turn this video off, maybe maybe I think it's starting to look real, you know, in the short term bonus and it's going to be a big pump. Maybe I'll just move my stop loss down here and just get out right away. Right. Or, uh, you know, but I legged into this. I put 50 percent in and was in profit for about the last 40 minutes. And then uh, it's since came back up, I put 50 percent percent in here right here where it just broke out right before I started turn making a video. And uh We'll see. That could be that could be a false breakout, and uh, there's multiple things that could happen. This could just shoot right up and stop me out. It could come up here, bounce, come back for the retest, and then and then go up and stop me out. Or maybe it gets re, you know maybe it just pumps to here and kind of goes and makes another pattern here, or maybe it comes all the way back down. Here's the real breakout, and I and I get a gainer, right? So becoming a good, highly skilled trader, you just uh, learn to take small little risks right and and you know let's just like here just for example right here on camera say say i move the stop loss all the way down here right here on video and uh see my stop loss now it's at 23405 so you can see the little the little risk like the little tiny risk if i got stopped out if it, if it increases this much compared to the gainer if it were to come down here the gainers you know about four times larger so you know, basically, I'm risking ten dollars in this trade, where I have uh, three thirty-five hundred dollars on the table, and uh, I'm risking right now. If I just leave it alone, the most I can lose is ten bucks, right? And and the most I can win would be like, whoops, whatever that is. And as you got the idea, I'm just gonna start yammering from here. You know, this would be like thirty thirty dollar gainer, forty dollar gainer, and I can you know I can I can change these lines and. And so this is looking like a pump, but I'm going to get out here. See if I'd have tried to make a video again about this triangle, right? And give my opinion. It would have been that it would break down, right? And then an hour later, I'd be wrong on video, but I'm not really wrong. This is just how you do it. 
and uh, we'll see. Right? I'll, I'll let you go see how this trade worked out. You, you go look at this yourself. Go look at your own chart. How'd this work out for me? All right. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching.